Everybody knows who Fitbit is. They're arguably the biggest player in the wearable fitness market. But there's another one you should probably be aware about, and that's the San Francisco Base Basis. Now recently they've been acquired by Intel, but they have something pretty cool and compelling with their latest wearable fitness tracker. Hey guys, John V from Phone Rena here, and you're watching our video review of the Basis Peak. We've seen better designs than this, and quite frankly, it pales in comparison to the Fitbit Surge. It's just dull and blocky looking. Though we gotta give it credit though, it has a solid construction because it's made out of this um, forged aluminum material, which gives it an almost indestructible quality. At the same time too, it could withstand being underwater as deep as 50 meters, so that's pretty good. And we do like the silicone strap it comes with. It has a 3D texture to it. Rubbery feel does a great job of repelling dirt and debris. It's easily adjustable and removable, and you could change it relatively quickly too with any of the other bands that they sell. As you can probably tell, it has a clean finish. There are no buttons or ports whatsoever with this, but on the underside, you have its heart rate sensor. It glows in this bright green color. It's pretty iridescent and almost blinding, especially at night. It also features a three-axis accelerometer. You have a skin temperature sensor and a galvanic skin response sensor. There's really nothing fancy with the display. What we have here is a 1.26 inch 144 by 168 touchscreen. It's monochrome, so no color with that. It does feature a backlighting, though the operation's kind of finicky just because you gotta do these swipe gestures on the right side. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And with the backlighting, it's not really evenly distributed, so it could be a little bit tough at times to make out under lower lighting conditions. But outdoors, when there's a lot of sun, outdoor visibility is fantastic. You'll be able to see it. Now, it displays the usual things, the time, of course, the date, the battery level. You could even view your daily results, such as your heart rate, uh, the amount of steps you've taken, but only the day's results. You gotta use the app to view previous days. Speaking of the app, it's available for Android and iOS, and it's pretty comprehensive in what it shows and offers. Now you have three, three main things you wanna point out here. You have the dashboard, which shows you your daily, daily status. You have your activity, your habits, which are some goals you wanna set for yourself. And finally, you have the activity fee, which shows your activity in a chronological order. Now, like I said, it's very detailed. It shows you your, your data very well, but unfortunately, there's no monthly view, so you really can't track your progress over a month's time period. The setup process is pretty simple. Uh, we generally get 20 feet of range with it. We connect it to an iPhone 6 Plus. Now, it also features some smart functions as well. So you have notifications for text messages, your calendar reminders, and phone calls. Now, Basis says that it has also email notifications, but in our experience, it didn't really work. The single greatest thing about the Basis Peak is that it offers minimal interaction. So we just wear it, and the sensors that are in the inside know what kind of activity we're doing. So if we're walking, it knows we're walking. If we're running, it knows we're running. And if we're sleeping, it knows that too. So no, no sort of you know manual operation necessary on our end. Now it's quite sensitive and it knows it even knows how many times we toss and turn in our sleep. However, it also falls victim to those phantom step tracking. So if we wave our hand, it thinks that we're walking, so it records it as a step. But that's something we've seen in other fitness trackers. So the results can be a little bit more generous than you'd think. For this kind of fitness tracker, we're pretty content with the four days of battery life that the Basis Peak offers. That's pretty much on par to what its rivals offer. Now, you have to make sure you don't lose the included charging cradle just because it's proprietary. In all fairness, it's not bad of a fitness tracker. If you're a hardcore fitness buff, you'll really appreciate things like the real-time heart rate tracking for an accurate calorie burn and how it's diversified and what it tracks, both the sleeping side and also how many steps you've, ta you've taken. It's priced at $200, so it's comparable to things like the Microsoft Band and the Fitbit Surge. If you can live with the design, it might be a good option, but you gotta think about the other two. They're a little bit more attractive looking and on top of that, they have just a wider degree of functionality than this.